Peace be with you. This is Brother Philip, and we're talking about purgatory. You know, we're all united in Christ through the sacrament of baptism, through incorporation into his mystical body. And we know that the church has traditionally been divided up or understood into three parts. There's the church militant, the church suffering, and the church triumphant. Now the church militant is us here on earth because we're fighting for salvation. We are fighting to do God's will and we need grace, we need prayer and, and sacrifice in order to win the war, to share Christ's victory, which has already been won, but we need to claim our inheritance. We need to enter into that. Church suffering, they have already died and they, thank God, made it into purgatory so they are with God forever, but they're not yet fully purified. And so they can pray for us, but they can't pray for themselves anymore because they're sort of locked into eternity, so to speak. But they can be, continue to be purified uh, by our prayers and sacrifices until they're fully one with God. And the church triumphant are those in heaven, you know, the communion of saints, all the saints and angels before the presence of God, praising and adoring him every moment, uh, for all eternity, uh, they pray for us in a powerful way because there's nothing hindering their union with God. They're already totally one with Him. They are one with Him in love. And so it's good to remember that the church is much bigger than just the building or the people that we see uh, here on earth. It includes all those in purgatory, the church suffering, but also all the angels and saints in heaven. And so again, we're all united through Christ, through His sacrifice on the cross, and through baptism but we enter more fully into this union whenever we love, whenever we pray for that complete and final union of all souls in heaven, both ourselves and those in purgatory. God bless you.